like a million nuts. What is going on, you beautiful people? It's Australia here, and welcome to Ratatosker the movie. Now, this series has been going on for a while. Uh, Scylla the movie, definitely my favorite one thus far. It was the first one in the series, and it's it's like my little baby, you know, and I'm very proud of it. I, I'm also proud of how we arrived here. It was a great comment that suggested this, so thank you so much. Uh, we're going to use Ratatosker, a different acorn every single game, try and get some new play styles, try and master the character. If you are new here, the movie is simple. We're trying to play the one character, Ratatosker, in GM Rank Duel for the whole length of a feature film. It's usually about an hour and 20 minutes. The Kakolan movie was a little bit less, so I promised this one would be a little bit more. And uh, if you guys are excited, we do vote on these every time in the community tab. I don't think we're going to vote. Uh, we didn't vote on this one, but next one, it has to be a hunter. We remove the class every single time. So no warriors, no mages, anything. It's going to be hunters for hunters in the community tab. They will be voting, and then we'll decide what the next movie will be. A thousand likes, and I will have it up in two weeks. Every two weeks, I will have one of these done, as long as we consider getting a thousand likes every single time. Without further ado, I'm not going to stall it any longer. This is a long one. Let's watch Rat the Movie. All right, so we are jumping into game number one here, and I am, I gotta use the Ragnatosker skin, man. This one is actually just too fun. I'm not sure who, uh, what, like, what skins I'm gonna use in this video, because we have very limited options, right? We get four games, four different acorns, but I really actually do want to go, like, the crit acorn against mages in particular. I think warriors and assassins get to build crit pretty easily. Um, so I think we're gonna come out swinging with the thick bark acorn. Like this thorn and bristlebush seem good conditionally. Actually, this thorn seems the best all around, but bristlebush against like Loki, I just don't know how good it would be. So let's go. Uh, let's go to your two transcendents. Let's get a chalice. Let's get shell, and we still get to think about this because I, I think if we were going the healing one. We just like overstack healing, right? Like we, we just get soul eater as well for big cringe. But in a situation like this, I'm thinking we put a point into all of our abilities and we're, I think we're going to be a two maxer this game and uh, maybe get an Erendite to find him with our old and stuff. It could be fun. We'll have to see. But either way, we are finally here, man. This is such, oh my God. I just threw Wrath the movie. I threw, that's eh, actually fine. I wasn't gonna get speed buff anyways, so I don't care too much. I definitely don't care too much, but it does suck a little bit because he's gonna double buff and he'll be ahead. But as long as we clear this, we should be just fine. We might even grab the minis on the way. So this is where we really have to decide. And I think we're gonna commit to the two. So we'll go thick bark first up against the Loki. Crit up against the Loki could certainly be like real snowball-y, right? Like if we just got ahead, we might just never get behind, but I don't know. I just, I, I want to save it for a mage. You know, can you imagine just beating like a Poseidon or a Kronos with crit rat because they think they're going crazy and then I just do way more damage than them? Could be fun. This dude doesn't have a lot of mana and he does have speed buff. So I'm going to dash in maybe baiting him to ult me. Oh yeah, let's do it. We definitely have a better early game than a Loki. I don't know if he has the mana to ult, which is why I'm saving everything. Unfortunate. We didn't have enough mana to get anything. I wanted to get the ult. I wanted to try and get... Huh, he stayed. Okay. I'm down for that. I just guarantee that he misses waves now. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna get these minis and head on back. That's good. Because he cleared like that, it made sure that I... Uh, I guaranteed made him miss some farm. And we head on back. We're not gonna be able to get transcendence, of course, but we got ourselves a little bit of pressure, and I'll take it. Ew. What is that? What is that? And he doesn't have a chalice either, so that's good. I think he gets red buff for free if he wants it. If he doesn't want it, I don't know, we'll see. I'm so excited, man. Rat the movie. It's finally here. Shouts out. All you guys dropping comments and stuff, helping me out, decide things like this. Really does help me out a ton. Well, I could steal with an auto attack at the end. Ooh. Any time that I can dash in, it's definitely good to do. Wow, I didn't expect him to go in on that. Um, because you get your your dark cooldowns back, so I want to be engaging whenever possible and stunning him out of his three whenever possible as well. I'm lucky. 
gonna have to pre-shell that ult. No! Let's go! We got the revenge! I was saving my uh I was saving everything for that. Do we go? Yeah, you know, we go the acorn. We definitely go the acorn. I was gonna say, do we go the acorn before we actually commit to um a defense item? And yes, 100 percent We're gonna snowball with it. Uh, so getting a revenge kill is worth more than first blood. So I'm happy that happened that way. But I was gonna just... My plan was just to uh, dash onto him. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade this real quick and then and then we'll ult. There we go. He's gonna go with that blue, I believe. Oh, I suck! Oh, never mind. Yeah, I could have killed there for sure. I'd still be able to. I'm gonna pretend like I'm running. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Let's go. Easy enough for me. All right. We played. We turned that one around. It could have been a lot worse. I'm glad that we. Oh, they just came up too. Darn it. I wanted to take those from them. That's fine. We're up against the Loki. We got ourselves lively acorn. So we're on our way. And I believe that his blue is still up i could be wrong i didn't get a great look when i was up in the air but i don't think we're gonna be able to make it over there in time anyways but we got the lead though and that's what we're looking for you never want a loki to get ahead early because he just wins late more often than not i am gonna max the old uh two here like i said anytime you can uh you can hit that dart definitely go for it I don't have my shell, so I don't want to... If I ever lose my stun, I probably just lose the fight. Let's go. He even beads that. That's wild. So, I was saving my stun for his three, but once I realized, like, I'm in kill range here... Oh my goodness, it's so annoying that those don't come to you. Oh, I just went for it. I'm gonna buy my acorn around the corner. Because he still has ult. And now we are thick bark gamers. Honestly, I could do some bait strats here. Come on, buddy, ult me. I want him to ult me. See if he would do it. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. No, that was bad! That was so bad! Why did I do it like that, man? Dang it! What's going on? So you guys probably knew what my plan was. I knew what my plan was, but I should have ulted the second I stunned. That was so bad. I'm going to pay attention to him. Let's see where he goes. All right, he's back. Dang it, man. <laughs> that was actually so troll. This is how you want to start it off, though. Get all the trolls out at the beginning. We're trying to learn, right? We're trying to master him, right? That's the plan. Um, that's what I'll do. I'm not going to get any of those stacks anyways. All right, we are in speed buff territory now. Got to put another plane to the dash. Did we miss? This is mine. I think we actually missed on the melee somehow. It was a little bit ridiculous. Do you think we were going healing one? Later. <laughs> wow, that was a uh, that was a classic underestimation of my power. I saw him go in, and I was like, "Bro, you're dead." All right, let's leave. Oh, we can get this. Nope, that's dumb. It's dumb. He didn't ult. He's on the way. I'm just going to get speed buff and then we can ult him. And uh, as far as relics goes, beads is going to be my play. Aegis comes in handy for sure, but I think when there's... There's there's no Bumba's hammer to worry about. I really do just have to get away from one of his ults and I'm completely fine. Uh, I, I think he, he's going to be in the wave, so let's just wait for him until... We, yep, there he is. I think he went this way. Did he run the whole way around? Darn it, man. Maybe I need Crusher just so I can follow him. Wait, my back didn't go off. I thought my back went off. Yeah, maybe I should get Crusher just so I can follow him. Bro, there's no way. I am actually just trolling. What is happening? What if he was just stopping my back that whole time and I didn't realize? Yeah, so we're gonna go, uh, let's go Crusher, Erendite, Hydras, or something like that. That'll make us follow him quite easily, and as long as we just, like, play smart, we'll be fine.
Yeah, I knew I was going to win that one effortlessly. I still had my shell if I needed it, and I don't need it. So that's great. We get red buff, and finally, I will grab this tower. Let's go, man. A promising start. A promising start to the movie. Oh, you got that, you rat. Wait, I'm the rat. I'm actually the rat. Maybe we get some wards here and start pressure and fire. Do it. This is one of those games I don't want to see what happens late game, you know? Because Loki obviously has a great time one-shotting pretty much anyone, even with a defense item late game. Uh, not like I can't one-shot him, but let's just not... Let's not figure it out, you know? If possible. He doesn't have defense yet. Okay, he ran over there. Come here. I would ult over there, but probably not my best idea. Just because I don't think I do too much damage to it, you know? It's not like I burn this thing. It's very slow. Let's pop a... Let's pop it. Save our two for a bit, because it does really good shred. We got double wards. Okay, this is done. Yeah, I see him, but he's gone. He ulted that. Huh. Is Striper telling him I'm afraid? I'm not. It's right there. Yep. I gotta be honest, man. I think he got baited. I think you got a little baited. We don't have that. Go! Oh, I was going to say, we don't have that much time, but we have enough to get the dub there. So already starting off with a free 10 minute win. I will certainly take that. And uh, yeah, that was a good game, man. Let's jump into game number two. All right. So let's jump into game number two. We're up against an Izanami. That. I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about that. It's a new day, obviously. I even shaved the beard a little bit, so I could look different to you, but the movie is what's important. I've seen this dude before, and uh, I think I'm going to use something that I've learned about his playstyle to my advantage. This dude always invades. This dude always invades. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to uh, prepare myself for the possible invade, right? Like, that seems like a smart enough thing to do. Um, meditation or shell. Let's go med this game. I know that usually I start like different starts every time, but honestly, like different acorns is a completely different play style. It's like you're, you're getting a new experience every time you pick this character up. So yeah, I'm not going to go for the blue. I'm going to try and find this dude because he always invades every single time I've ever played him. Didn't find him, which tells me he's probably like right over here. Yeah, who would have guessed? Well, he found me. Alright. <laughs> we got him to dash away and if he comes back, yeah, we'll just fight him. What are you doing? What are you doing? I've got med and he has beats. This works out much better for me. Um, but I don't really want to use anything on him. He already used a chalice. I'll use a chalice. Yeah, it's smart because Iza has such good clear, right? Like, you're able... I'm going to take a few of these and then hopefully group up the minions. There it is. Um... So if Isa doesn't get a buff, she's still fine. She's able to clear just fine. But that's not always the case. Um, this dude is chasing me. Hi. It's so weird. It's like he wants to be aggressive, but he doesn't want to fight. You see what I'm saying? He'll like follow you. He won't invade the buff. Like he won't attack the buff. But he will definitely um, try to like stop you from doing it. Because he just wants to power farm and get ahead of you by... Nature of Isa clear. Not really too worried about that one. Oh my god, I didn't even think about what acorn I'm going. Um, in this game against an Isa, let's go. Uh, let's go the old, the old big stunner. That's probably the best option, right? This dude's so annoying. Holy shit. Holy. He's on the buff. Get off that buff. What are you doing on that buff? You're not stealing this from me, I've decided it. Embarrassing. 
Oh, I missed him. I was going to say, if I get his hit, we're fine. He's not going to hit five for so long now, so that's really good. That's good. Now we are five. We have a decent bit of uh, fight potential. He is just going to hit five here at the end of this wave, so I may just get out. I was wanting to see if he'd ult it, but he didn't. He did ult dash in there, but he's not going to catch me. Would you go for my speed buff? I don't think so. I think we're all right. Sounds good. After we get that speed buff, we'll just go back for transcendence. All right. An interesting start to the game. But like I said, it helps to know. Like if you play duel a lot, you know, people strats. I had a, I knew this guy was going to invade me because he always has. I always beat him. He's never beaten me, but the man always makes the, the start as annoying as humanly possible. We're going to get ourselves a stun acorn this time to deal with it. And then we can always upgrade uh, the acorn out of base, so we'll do that later. I want to get Erendite, though, so I can try and find... I've played two Invis characters in a row, I just realized. Loki and Aiza. This this movie's going to be big cringe, it seems like. We got our Transcendence online. I'm pretty sure Dash and then Spin always clears until we max the three, of course. Gotta watch some wards down in the process, because she has to catch up on so many buffs because she didn't start one are like pretty even gold wise actually we're basically dead even just doing minis i might just dash on here get some poke okay got the old dash down i do want to get aggressive if she doesn't have a dash okay. got her ult for absolute free dash in do it do it Easy juke of my life. Easiest juke of my life. All right. If she does to try and stay, we can alter and maybe look for a kill opportunity. I just, I know we're not going to win a fight until we get our acorn. It just takes a bit before we actually have the damage to kill. And he's a stinky. I don't think she stayed though. I'm pretty sure she knew that she didn't want to brawl with me when I yap back. Fire Giant is spawning in. We got to keep our eyes on that. That's one thing I remember from her as well. Is that this dude uh, tries to sneak fire a fair bit. Um, I don't think I'm a, I don't think I'm a one max of this game. Actually, I do think I'm a one max of this game. If she dashes, I just kill her. All right? Hi. Easy enough. Honestly, dude, I was like holding my breath there because I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the read, you know, where I'm just gonna I'm gonna ult to where she's going, but then she panicked and just ulted or uh, dashed, and I was like, oh cool, like I don't have to do any cool reads. I don't have to predict anything. She choked. So we got ourselves a lead, we got our acorn, and we can back up. I'm imagining that she already dashed in here, but I don't really care about red buff, so we'll let that one slide. Because she went Toxic Blade there, to be honest, Crit Acorn might have been a good play. It's going to take her a while to get defense online, but I didn't want to risk it, man. I didn't want to risk it. I know that Iza with double defense. Wait, what? Now I'm wishing I did go Crit Acorn. I do want to try and dive this if possible. Yeah, I can kill her. Come on, bro. Are you kidding me? That didn't hit. I was so confident of that hit. Well, unlucky. Can't even get tier one defense. Let's just run it back. Dude, I really thought that my dash was going to reach there. I thought it would go around the tower, or at the very least, I should have just thrown the three. Dang it. That would have been a really big kill, but it's fine. With this build, I think we're going to be just fine. Her build seems very bad to me. Seems very bad to me. Huh. Oh, I missed that. Pretty much guarantees I lose this fight. Dash on me. She's not gonna dash. She knows she's terrified. Go around this way. She's staying. I don't want to dash in now. I want her to dash on me. If she did dash on me, that's when I'd feel confident going in. It looks like she's not gonna do that. I mean, if I get one more rotation of ability, she actually just dies. So I'll wait.
Okay. That's good. Unlucky. <laughs> I was like, how far back is she gonna go? I'll sit here and wait until she stops backing. Nope, she's just gonna sit there and run. Dang it, man. He's just so cringe, but we can do this. We are still building our lead slowly but surely. And actually stayed. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna get Sprout for sure. I think that's a decent play up against Anisa because slows are pretty integral to her kit and we can get her beads down for free with it. Um, but I do think Crusher Hydra's is gonna be my play. There's no life steal yet. It does a ton of damage. It reveals her from stealth. I like this play. And honestly, I was gonna go to fire there, but I see that red's coming up and I can grab minis. Man, my dash always reaches a little bit lower than what I'm expecting. I still want speed buff, of course, because I'm a melee trying to close gap against a, a hunter. Like, that's just a no-brainer. But it still makes you wonder. Uh, good, good dash. I don't want her to go for fire. That's the one thing I want to try to avoid. Alright, she's just chasing me. Alright, she's heading over there now. There's no farm up. So I'm definitely going to go towards fire. Now, you know what? I'll let her have it because I can get breastplate and chase her down if she tries to kill me. Like, if she actually tries to go for that tower, I can just kill her off it. Look, she already warded. Like, you could tell she wanted that fire. She should be getting it done shortly. And if she doesn't, I can chase with my ult. Enemy team has destroyed the bull demon king. She dashed out. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so this should be a real easy kill for us. Easy enough. And that's the reason I gave her fire, because I was like, she's not going to get my tower. There's no way that she can ever out DPS me here. I see what she was going for, but I was just like, she's going to die. Like, there's no way she can outrun me. Luckily, I was able to out damage her, so she had to dash. If she didn't dash, like, it would have been difficult to kill her there. But, I mean, she knew she was dead if she didn't dash. Wow, we full clear. That's crazy. So that's the reason I was okay with getting letting her have fire. Like, I'm really not too worried about late game with this build. It'll just take too long for her to come online. I'm going to go back in for sure. Wow. She's dead again, I think. Yep. Not enough to get that, though. Unfortunate. She's playing this, like, so aggressive, which is ridiculous. Because, like, she's Iza, sure, but y you know you don't win until, like, five items, right? And even then, if I'm ahead of you an item and a half, you still don't win. Seems like she doesn't recognize that. I can't get a full crusher even with that blue buff, so I'm just gonna get the old tier two. And then hopefully catch her out. If I catch her, like, here, she just dies and I win. Well, not win, but I get Phoenix. <laughs> and getting Phoenix is a-okay with me against an Iza. Stinky. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Oh, found ya. Unfortunate. I wanted to see if she'll step up. No, I was going to say, like, I'm actually not going to ult right away to see if she'll get overconfident by me not chasing, but she did not. Unfortunate. I can see her going towards blue. All right, I'm going to grab Crusher and then some wards because I want to try and go for fire next time around. That's when we're actually going to get aggressive here. Crusher Hydra's either Heartseeker or Arendite. Arendite would be good for chasing, but it's also not like the best late game DPS item I could hope for. So maybe we just like avoid that. But man, the nuts do so much damage. It's actually absurd the burst potential they've got. I'm gonna sit around the corner because of the blues up. This is warded. I mean, she's better than me. I don't know what to say. What the heck? Where was she? Did I? What? What is? Where were you? She beads. That's really good. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Later. 
<laughs> uh, I'm just gonna ult to fire because I don't really care about getting it ASAP. Like we certainly could have just, oh wow. Didn't expect that to hit me. We certainly could have just went for, for Phoenix there, but I think this is smarter. I think this confirms that I, I, I get the Phoenix because there's no way she's gonna step up to me. Look at, she got Kins. It's just, yeah, there's no way. I think she actually got this thinking I might go more healing, but it's just the meditation for the early game. That's all the healing I really wanted. All right, we know her beads are down. I'm trying to hide for as long as possible, but it didn't work. I'm mad that that hit me. Not gonna use, oh, she dashed for the speed. All right, let's start hitting this thing. Actually, her dash is down, so I'm gonna walk this way. She has to run, oh. I was gonna say, she doesn't want to run. She just wants to throw the game. Wow, dude, this is like easy back-to-back -back games, to be honest. I'm very surprised that she just did that. I thought she would go around, but maybe she just thought, there's no way he can kill me. Trust me, dog, with your build, it's effortless. That might actually be it. Five seconds. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I'm gonna kill you one more time just for picking Iza and invading in duel. Hell yeah, man. So now we got our two acorns down. Judging by how fast these games were, we're probably gonna have to do some do-overs. So let's jump into game number three and see what it holds. All right, so we're jumping into game number three. We have two acorns to choose from and we're up against a Hebo, bro. Oh, okay. That's not ideal. I won't lie to you, but maybe it's a good time for crit rat i mean uh, it's the healing one is not going to help us i don't think so hebo is simply gonna have more cooldown so this is this is real crit at rat hours who's up um the only time i think i'm gonna do a different start than transcendence is gonna be the soul eater one truthfully i i, I don't see too many options besides like attack speed rat maybe i go attack speed with crit okay you know what i, I talked myself into it I talk, I talked myself into it. We can go uh we can go Ichaval Attack Speed Rat. This is bad against the Hebo though. You know what I'm not gonna do it. Not this game. Not this game. This uh, you know, Hebo or Rat the movie's going so well thus far. I don't want to ruin it. We're gonna have to max our dash this game. And you know what? Let's triple buff because Hebo's buff clear actually is not that fast. You lose all your mana if you um if you try and spam everything as a Hebo, so. We will be able to clear that quicker. See, 15, 15, 16. Still not. Still hasn't dropped one. Still hasn't dropped one. Wow, still has not dropped the buff. Okay, there we go. The buff just dropped. Probably blue. And then we will be able to get blue as well. If this dude is on speed, I mean, is on double buff, and we could go over. There's what I was going to say. We got ourselves a blink to try and snowball this game away, but I don't think... I do not think that we are able to get a kill in the early. Okay. Well, they missed a lot. That's definitely good. We're going for... We're going for like a level 4 kill. Like right before he hits 5. That's when I would like to get aggressive. But at the moment... I think he's going back for speed buff? Or he's on those minis and I wasn't paying attention. Um, To be honest with you, I meant to get Aegis. But I got Blink. So I guess that's happening. We're, we've committed to the snowball. We have completely committed to the snowball. Okay. This is interesting because you have no more peel. Yeah, I think I guarantee kill you here. Oh, he got first, but I got the revenge. That's worth more for me. I didn't get my three. Oh, I didn't see this. <laughs> Just saw this. Good luck, gamer. Unlucky. I, I didn't have the, my mana for the three, I guess. So I thought that that was uh, going to be an easier kill. But he got first, but we got the revenge. It's still worth more for us. But, you know, I, I would have preferred not dying, of course. All right, I can get aggressive here. I don't think that he's going to be able to ult onto me before, or like without getting, uh, without getting Bancroft, so I was saying. It just, the ult does like 285 or something. Just not the just not the best option to go for kills early we'll get the 
the farm from here. I don't think we ever get ulted. I just want to try and get some extra gold there. We'll get our transcendence and back up. Besides to go for red buff, we'll get in there. We will get in there. Yes, All right, so this blink is going to have to come in handy right now. We got to stop his back. Where's he at? Ah, too late. <laughs> too late, unfortunately. We lost a lot of gold there to tower. But the process of getting red buff and my speed should even that out a bit. I'm hoping. Should be uh, decent for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. And honestly, red buff, I think is better. I think red buff is going to be key here. I love speed for chasing him down. But in a world where we just let him free cast, I'm going to ult for this wave, actually. I don't want to let him get too far ahead. I didn't want to let him get too far ahead. He already got claw. I just want to keep getting my buffs at the moment. I will ward this in case he decides to go for it. Hopefully he doesn't. I see him on it, we'll blink. All right, cool. Like, I just need some items online, and then I can start going crazy. But him getting Claw really sucks for me, <laughs> because that is just one of the best survivability items in the game currently for mages. And I don't want him to survive. I want him to get one shot. That's kind of the plan with this build. I'm going to go for just full clearing the wave. I said, not looking for too much action early on here. Gonna catch up in the farm game. Don't go for me. Stop that. <laughs> Please stay away from me, you scary water boy. Yeah, he's running out of mana, but I'm still definitely in like kill threshold. I don't think he has the mana to use all of it. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. I was gonna say, I actually don't think he's got the ability to ult me at the moment. He's going towards his blue with no mana. This could be really great for me. I don't hear him. He just left it. Cool. That's great. <laughs> uh, oh. Did you just DC? Good shell, but I'm still going to kill you. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not going to let you live there, bro. You're a hebo. You win this through all points of the game. There's no way I'm letting you lazy back with no mana. <laughs> what the heck? I'm really happy that we got that one. I might even queuing it like a weird time. It's friggin' What time is it? Like two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I will put points in my ult because I don't think he's ever going to ult my ult. I think he wants to save that four damage, which means that I actually will get some value out of the ultimate. And because I have just more damage here, let's see. Does, does he go Typhons or Breastplate? Breastplate, okay. So, let's see where he goes. I can't really see over it. I would like to try and kill him here. Oh, he's on his minis. I'm going for it. Did not use the ult. I wanted to see if I could... There it is! I was going to say, I wanted to see if I could fade out the ult, and I did. I did not think that was going to work, honestly. I just started chasing a bit, and then I was like, okay, that'll work. Now we has got Juka 3, and we kill. There it is. There it is, and we got the crit. Beautiful. I don't think we needed it, but I will certainly take it. I'm just going to go Hydras. I don't even know if we want defense. I don't even know if we want defense. I think we just have to continuously go for these big burst plays until we can just burn through FG. All right, we're level 12 here after speed buffing these. Or maybe actually just after these. I forget how much they give. Yeah, after speed buffing these, that's about what I expected. Um, yeah, let's go Hydras. Let's do it. I do have to get an Aegis, though. As sad as it makes me feel, as much as I want to be like, sprout, get aggressive, like, chase him down. Uh, late game, I got to avoid that ult. I have to avoid that ult if we get to late game, of course. There's a world where we make him F6 early. Hit that. Oh, if that's stunned! If that's stunned, maybe we could have got aggressive. He's going towards his blue. I don't think that I have enough time to get to this and get over there. I definitely could have invaded him, though. Honestly, it would have been the smart thing to do if I was trying to bully him into F6ing. Well, I had enough time anyways. Doesn't matter. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, come on. I mean, I can still kill him. I'll miss, a, I'll miss a wave, but I'm going for it. 
I'm sorry in advance, buddy. <laughs> I am sorry in advance, but I'm not letting you get out. I'll miss the wave for it. <laughs> We're able to just snowball. I love it. Crit rat. Um, probably Shogun. Ah, uh, he's got claw. Maybe anti heal. Maybe we've got hydras. Maybe getting the, getting this would be so big for me actually. Hit me with the whelp. Whelp what? Whelp what? Don't tell me you're giving up. Oh hi. Oh, boom. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. All right. But luckily, we were able to snowball that one. Um, I don't think that one counts. I think we have to get another crit rat game. So let's uh, let's queue until we find that. All right. So we're going to try this one again. Let's see the matchup, though, before I lock myself in Hades. Oh, okay. So that changes things a little bit. There's no way I'm maxing my dash up against the Hades. In a high level duel game. It's just, it's not smart because if I ever dash in, I'm in range of his silence. I, I want to save my dash to get away from his ultimate. It's just not a smart call. So, um, this could be the healing acorn game actually. So let's, let's do that. Let's go, uh, let's go some soul eater. We can look towards evergreen for sure. And I'm thinking we want beads. Ah, uh, do we want beads? Let's think about this logistically. Late game, Onk, Beads would go crazy if we wanted it. Yeah, okay. I've convinced myself. We're going to go Beads. So let's make sure I understand everything about this Acorn because I really never get it. When Rat deals damage to an enemy god with an ability, he restores 7% of his max health and mana. That's it. It gives movement speed, fizz power, and 10% maximum health. So that's it. You get big HP and you get big heals. So I'm thinking, I mean, we want to build big HP, right? That, that sounds smart to me. If you're trying to, if you're trying to get big heals, why not have a lot of HP to do so? So let's get Soul Eater. We're gonna just get so much regen. Force this dude into a, uh, a divine for sure. And I was not paying attention. I definitely should have stopped him from doing double buff. Uh, I was too busy focusing on everything but that. So now he's got two buffs, and I don't. Um, this is gonna be. This is going to be uh, a three max game because he can stop my spin. It's just not smart for me to max the... I mean, anything else. Like, literally anything else. It's just not smart to do. I was thinking about maxing the uh, the two, but, you know, he can stop it. And, of course, I'm not maxing the dash, so... Go Acorn here. I would not have minded... If I had my choice, I think I still wouldn't be going the, the yellow one because it just gets so much value. But... It's all right. We're going to fall a little bit behind in the early. And then we'll be able to come online eventually. Okay, we do not care about that. Because he just does no kind of damage to us just yet. We're going to pop some potions and wait for that full soul eater. We'll get to go in. I'll wait for him to clear it. He has no kill potential. I have no kill potential. We both know that, obviously. So we're just, like, sitting there. Okay, the, the minions do start to add up, but I don't think I die here anyways. He doesn't even have the, the blight on me. Yeah. Took some damage, but not enough for me to warrant going in. All right, let's get our soul eater head back and maybe we fight at red if he's at it. If he's at it, maybe we look to go at red. I didn't pop my potions for a reason. I didn't really want to be tempted to go in there. Um, I don't think he, I don't think he's at red. I think he already back. That'd be my guess. If he is at red, I could chase him down after the fact, but I'm pretty sure he's not at red. He's just so weak, right? I'm not trolling. I'm not trolling, Pog. Thought so. I do want to turn my back, though, because he could be here. He definitely is going to make it. His three is not enough damage, though. I mean, his dash is not... Wait, what? I don't understand. How did he do that? I truthfully don't understand because his dash didn't get it. Did he auto attack after the dash? And that's what secured it. We don't want to get... Okay, he didn't get the whole wave, so I don't care. Yeah, it's pretty clear he does, like, big damage. But we have more sustain at the moment just because of Soul Eater. Um, if he dashes over the wall, then, you know, we'll be alright. I don't care enough to uh, put that much respect on him. We 
go. All right, he gets our blue buff. I don't know what to say. He gets the blue buff, guys. I, I didn't have the I didn't have anything to brawl with him. <laughs> Maybe we can fight him after the fact, but we don't have the sustain we need yet. And by sustain, I mean MP5 because clearly he's just out here. Wait, hold the phone. I'm definitely just gonna eat that. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get ulted under the tower, so I definitely can't commit to that. Looks like we should be able to grab his blue, but I don't even know if we can get it in time. I don't even know if we can get it in time. It's gonna be pretty close. No, he's already gonna be on the way. I don't have my three. He's gonna steal this dash. Nope, he's going for the speed. We're fine. Nice. I am happy with that. That is a win for sure. He's double stacking, interestingly enough. He definitely doesn't have the damage to outtrade us. Like, if we, like, just doing this is benefiting us greatly and him not so much. We just heal so much. It's like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and he has to leave. So that's good. We did lose blue, but we got his blue. I'll take it. Not the greatest trade in history, but it could be worse, right? All right, I don't want to deal with that. I don't have the mana to dash out yet, but we're fine. I don't think he can catch us. I don't think he can get. Yeah, he'll just fear us away from him, so it's not gonna matter. And we've got enough sustain to run this one down with our blue buff, so yeah, there's no way he's gonna chase us that far. Let's watch out for trap. I don't think he would keep going, would he? Yeah, take the red buff. I don't care. Have it. No, <laughs> have the red buff, bro. It's all yours, really, really, truthfully, honestly. I don't need it yet. Eventually, once I get like a pestilence, I might, but currently, not my biggest concern. We are gonna slowly but surely get behind in gold. Again, because of the fact that I just cannot clear the wave just yet. It takes so long. Can't wait till I get full soul eater. And then maybe like a, I don't know, a Genji's or something. But now it's gonna be friggin' sustain central. Maybe I do still get transcendence though. What do you guys think? Pestilence, transcendence, brawlers. And then like Titan Spain or Heartseeker. I think that would actually be kind of clutch. I think it would be kind of clutch. I can't lie to you. I want to start catching up farm wise and get all the minis possible though, because it's just going to take so long. We know that our blue is actually almost back up because yeah, I was going to say I stole his blue right after he stole mine. So that's good. All right. All right, um, as far as ult goes, yeah, we can put points into it. I don't care. And there's no way he... What? I am dumbfounded that he just did that. I don't think I'm going to kill him, but... Oh my god, I've never seen someone get so body blocked in my life. I've never seen someone get so body blocked in all my days. That is ridiculous. I am so hyped about that kill. Cause that's a blue buff kill is what that is. And I love me some blue buffs. Beautiful. Wow. That is so good. Uh, he didn't go defense. So I'm debating on just going um, some defense of my own. I mean, not defense of my own, but you know what? Let's, let's play it safe. We have better sustain. We have more damage and we are love our beads up. So like, let's get the pestilence online first. Commit to that, and then we can start worrying about, like, you know, the rest. Okay, so we got our Ralk choice. Sunder would go hard, but Ankh also goes hard. And honestly, I'm leaning more towards Sunder, just because of the fact that, like, it seems like he's not running for me too much. It seems like he stays going in. Bro, what are you doing? You gotta know that you can't do damage to me. I am the Hades right now. Look how much I heal. What is your plan? Go ahead, heal it up. Now nah, it's all gone. <laughs> How's that feel? Okay. You really want to do this? <laughs> what we learn? <laughs> Look at the sustain, bro. You can't do anything. Why is he acting like he can? Oh, come on. 
That was good. Not good enough. I'm going to wait for my abilities to come back up because his jump isn't going to be up for a while. Wait, what? Oh, that wasn't enough damage, bro. I pre beat because I thought it was. Damn it. I can't believe he up down me there, though. Yeah, that was smart by him. I, I didn't expect that at all. I really thought that he was going to be afraid of my damage, but he was not. And I hurt for it. Fine, though. He's finally getting divine. That's smart. I don't think I want the red buff, honestly. Yeah, let's get Sunder. Let's get a Sunder. And let's get start working on Brawlers. Before that Transcendence comes online. We can grab Speed buff here. No, we can't. It's. I still think we're in blue buff territory for a bit longer. He might be on that. Was not paying attention to the timer. I hope he's not. I can't hear him. But he may be on it. It's certainly possible. We're dope. Let's go. <laughs> there we go, baby. So now we got Sunder for his ult. We have Sunder for his shell. Your dash is down, numbnuts. Wait, how did he sneak past my body block like that, bro? Shut up. Wow, he just one shot it. I guess he is double stacking. His build is only gonna do more and more damage. I gotta get used to that, right? Like, he actually does go hard. Damn. I really want to fight him, but I can't force him out anywhere. It's difficult. If he dashes in me ever, I just, like, do damage, but... You know what I'm saying? He just runs! And now I just full heal. I don't care, but, like, I want to fight you, bro. You see? You see how your tower does nothing to me? You gonna dash away again? Didn't even ult me. Didn't even ult me that time. He's learned. He's learned that he can't do anything to me, but I still can't force him out. All right. I know you guys are screaming. Charlie, just do fire, idiot. All right. I will. I will. I will do fire. And don't call me an idiot. <laughs> Let's do it. Magic balls are all you need? Is that what he said? Um, what was I committing to after this? Transcendence? Would not be terrible. Yeah, we'll go Transcendence. Let's do that. Put the extra point in the dash. There's no way he gets here in time for this. I think I actually might be the, the red buff bandit now. Oh, I wanted to see if he'd dash me. This is good. He's already... What? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You're not getting out. There's no way I'm letting you heal up here. I have too much anti-heal. I'm not letting you heal. I'm just going to make sure you can't heal. Dash if you want. It's not going to work. He's not going to do it. I kill him here for free, I think. Come on! Let's go! He was about to dash, bro. That's perfect. I might be able to get Phoenix? No, the archers are not enough. I was hoping. That is fire, though, right? 10 seconds with this thing? I'm sure we get fire there. Oh, wow. We got tower and fire off that against the Hades. We're out hades -ing the Hades. That is so funny. Oh, my. Well... This was the perfect time to do the sustain acorn, man. Just like, you're trying to heal? Nope, I'm healing. He's going into poly. He thinks more damage is the problem. How do you not see that you need that you need anti-heal? I don't understand it. But I'm not going to question it. He just dashed on me. Um, I've got sustain, so I don't care about that. I'm still going to go for blue buff, I think. He got thorns, which, good lord, I do not care about that. That should probably go without saying, though. 
Um, if he goes for the tower here, I also don't care. I mean, if he were to dash in, he would simply die. Your middle tower it would be elementary. Let's get in there, go for that. Phoenix, we have a full minute. I'm just smacking away. Do you really think you can stop me from getting your Phoenix? I'm a physical character. I'm not a mage. I don't need minions to get this. I'll pre-pop some potions, but there's no way this man kills me if he didn't go finish a divine. Oh, I feel so bad. Watch me heal to full every single time I use an ability on this wave. Oh my lord. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do we learn, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> dash in, do it. I really want you to dash in, please. Please dash on me. Look at my HP, bro. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you just let me do that, bro. He just got so shit on. I was sustained so easily. Oh my god. That was a picture perfect game with a sustained acorn. Let's jump on into game number four. All right, climbing into game number five here. I switched it up. I'm not saying jumping anymore because rat climbs trees. That's why. This guy actually has higher MMR than us and once again is going Hades. Huh. So that is, that's interesting, actually. Do we switch up the strat here and go for a... Ew, it's Jesse. I hate this guy. I friggin' hate this guy. All right, so we're up against infamous Stanky Boy. And he... Why is he always pause? He always pauses every time I face him. So let's, uh, let's cut that pause and we'll come back when it's done. <laughs> I said, why are you such a tryhard? I'm curious. I'm curious what his response would be to that. Um, yeah, we're gonna go Transcendence. We gotta get beads. This is gonna be a very similar game to the one we just played, but it'll be fine. <laughs> he actually has like 12,000 stars on friggin' Hades. Um, you know, I know what you guys are thinking. Trelly, you just beat a Hades with the Soul Eater start, and why, why wouldn't you just go that again? The unfortunate truth is, uh, I probably shouldn't have won that one. <laughs> I think that dude was just getting out pressured. Just going, uh, just going Soul Eater does not net you a dub against the Hades. However, comma, I'm certainly down to go, um, the, the green acorn again, as well as, um, a Soul Eater. I'm just gonna go Transcendence first so I can try and get ahead. At least I did the dash right this time. That's something you gotta work on. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll just walk up. I was gonna say, like, I wanna not double buff, but I think he's probably gonna double buff. And this will give us more farm. So, like, I'm down. I am down. Perfect. All right. Yeah, we'll still max the the nuts as we do. He's on the same start as that last guy, too. Maybe we do this, man. Maybe we actually commit to the Soul Eater strats. Pretty sure he's following me like a loser. Like a little weird loser. Are you following like a little weird loser? He's not. Beautiful. He's not a little weird loser. Oh, well, he still is, but he's not going for the invade. And that's what makes him not the biggest little weird loser. <laughs> so we have to hold on to our beads for sure. But our early pressure is not bad up against the Hades. Like, I just played this matchup. I should know. I should know. I'm really not worried uh, that much about, like, a... Talon Trinket Hades. We're just gonna dash in there. Oh, the minions actually ran from me, bro. That's so cringe. I could have full gotten that way. But instead, I had to friggin' sit there like a bingus. Oh, yeah. Nuts. Get a little bit. He can have. Uh, actually, he's not gonna get red buff. We'll be fine. We will be fine. What do you come here and invade? And by invade, I mean, like, just stop my back. The answer was no. All right, cool. So we're going to get Transcendence online, and we should be able to get over towards that red buff in time. But once again, we're going to lose a little bit of pressure early because that's sort of what Hades does. He clears the way very fast, and he gets Bancroft, and he doesn't care. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Trelly, 
That last guy didn't get Bancroft. And that's what I'm talking about. That's why that matchup was so easy for me. Guess he knows how to build. <laughs> um, we should be fine. But he's also not going to dash because he's not a dingus. I did not think that would kill. I'm going to be honest with you. I really did not expect that to kill. I was like, damage-wise, like, I thought I was chilling there. But he knows I'm just going to get transcendent and run away, so... Go away, Jesse. Stop being weird. He's being weird. What did I just say? All right, if he goes for the blue... God dang it, he can have it. I don't even care at this point. I'll fight him for his blue. I'll fight him for his blue. That's the plan, and we stick to it. That's the plan, and we stick to it. We're already down 400 gold, man. This is such a cringe matchup. <laughs> I actually hate him. Oh, yeah. That's the thing about these other dual YouTubers, man. They just they just go try hard. Me, I built every single rat acorn in one video. You want to know why? Because I'm dumb. But more importantly, because MR doesn't get your views. People don't care how good you are. They want to see you do dumb shit. <laughs> it's interesting, but it's true. It's something I've learned. <laughs> All right, let's get ourselves a speed bump here. And yeah, let's go healing acorn again. I'm down. Wait, I'm ma I'm literally not maxing the healing acorn. What am I talking about? Why would I why would I make that up? Don't you do it. See, I can trade with him pretty effectively uh soonish. Just, you know, not quite yet. That's like all of his damage. That's you don't have much damage. Stop it. His autos do be hurting though. I'm gonna have to ult now. Unlucky. It's gonna take so long before I can actually fight with a friggin' Hades. What if he dashed me under Phoenix? How nuts would that be? You get it? Nuts? Like, nuts. <laughs> He does get the back for free here, and he's got a solid, like, full level lead on me. A solid full level lead. I'm starting to regret it. I'm starting to regret the start. I'm honestly thinking, like, the Soul Eater start would have been better. I might have had the, the strat down. Might have had it just locked and loaded and didn't realize. I don't care too much about the red. Mostly because I know I can never outburst the Hades for a buff, and he's already here. So that sucks. But... I didn't want to take a tower shot. He threes that. And he did. All right. We should have a decent chance at outbursting here. There we go. We got it. We love that. We got our nuts. And we get to get our upgraded acorn here. Nerd. <laughs> we got our acorn. I will never forgive you. <laughs> Good, I don't want you to. Man. I'm not asking for your forgiveness, buddy. I will bully you, honestly. Easiest juke of my life. Easiest juke of me life. No way he goes for that blue, right? I didn't hear him. Pretty sure he wasn't on it. Hope he's not. If he is, we gotta chase him down. No one takes my blue buff twice and gets away with it. He did head up to bees, though. Looked like he kind of wanted to head this way, but he also realized, like, this might be a bit of a waste of time. This might be a bit of a waste of time. So, yeah, my plan here is actually nuts. This goes crazy, okay? I'm gonna have more damage, right? But I'm still gonna get the Soul Eater, and I'm gonna bait him into the false sense of security, whereas he thinks... That I don't have healing, but in reality, I just get Soul Eater later. This is going to be so OP. Oh my goodness, I've cracked the code. Cracked the code like some nuts. The nuts puns are not going to stop. <laughs> I said I'm climbing in the game. I, I you, you guys knew what this was. You knew what this was. Okay, so he's already got Polly. Which means his healing is absurd. Um, he just want to probably try and... Two poly shot, kill me every chance he gets. Which is smart, of course. Playing to your character's power spikes. Nuts. Um, I need like Sunder and Oh yeah. 
I need Sunder and like anti heal before I can actually fight him. And he knows it. That's why he's going double life steal just so he can sustain forever. Ah. I want to see if he all he did. Nice. I want to see if he dash on me. Yeah, I might try it, but we'll just back it up. He's going for it. I want him to dash just so I could go for red buff. I might be able to. <laughs> I may be able to go for red buff now because I've kept him around this long. Eh, it's gonna be close. Nah, there's no way. As long as he saves a poly shot, he definitely just gets this and can kill me. Later. <laughs> now we get to leave. Oh yeah, so now I'm gonna get Sunder and Pestilence finally. And hopefully, we can just brawl with him. Don't stop my back, you nerd. Okay, well now I gotta stay. <laughs> now I actually have to stay. I just need anti-heal, man. You couldn't tell. That's what we're waiting for. Takes a bit. When it's online, you get to kill people. It's so fun. Trust me, you guys are gonna love it. All right. Beautiful. I'll just take speed buff at this point because I don't care. But we've got the anti-heal we need. I'm actually down to fight him now. Of course, he probably gets like... He probably gets Breastplate and Tier 1, like, Magic Focus. I would assume it's the, you know, Tier 1 Divine or Obsidian Shard or any of those items. That's what I would assume he's getting. I could be entirely wrong. Oh, he actually dashed in there. Hmm. Nuts! He got Claw and Teleport, okay. He's going to go for some cheeky strats for the YouTubes, I would imagine. Or he's just nuts. Yeah, this isn't a fight that I, like, love taking. But I also don't, like, hate it, right? Huh. I actually don't think it's that bad. He tried to teleport. <laughs> I don't know where he was planning on going, but he didn't make it, wherever it was. I wanted to juke that poly shot. I think I can maybe go for a kill. Nah, I can't. Yeah. It's, uh, it's honestly not enough anti-heal yet. I need a little bit more. I need a bit more. I'm still getting the Soul Eater, though. The Soul Eater goes hard. Hmm. He's going for his speed. So I guess I'm just going to proxy the wave because I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't think there's too much farm that I want to get in the meantime. So we just back up. We don't have enough for full Soul Eater, but it'll help. I know this is like a really slow paced game, but this is what it's like when you face actual good players, like actual GMs. Like I know Jesse's MMR cap for a reason. I'm not trying to give him a, an early lead, which he already is up 700 gold, just so we're clear. I'm not trying to give him an earlier lead just because I, uh, just because I like played something dumb, you know? I'm only going to beat this ult here. Because, because we don't have brawlers, I actually can't go for the kill. He's going to full heal once again. But I can pick up... Um, what's it called? I can actually pick up this red buff, which is cool. Because now we have some ways to fight him. We know our blue buff's coming up, though. All right. We got the soul leader. I'd like to stack and get brawlers and then like Titan's Bane or Heartseeker. Probably Titan's Bane in this case. Something that gives us good damage, man. That is what we need. That's going to be the difference maker because he's got Pancroft's Claw Breastplate. He has so much healing already. It just, it takes a while. It takes a while before Rat can match that damage and he just gets a full heal every time he touches a wave. Got that already. I didn't even realize. He already got it. See, this is what I want. I want to go in in a situation like this. Still, it's just kind of difficult to match damage here. <laughs> you can kind of see the difference in our uh, our sustainability here. It's just like I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make this matchup playable anymore. <laughs> I have lost control. 
of how to make this matchup playable. But, you know, we can always bait him into a false sense of security with this Brawlers, right? That's something. We're, our XP is even. He hasn't gotten the tower yet. These are all good things. His damage is down. He missed a poly shot. Okay, I'm mad about that, but it's fine. And that's the thing. He knows when he's in a bad spot. Like, he does not fight me ever if there's a chance that he could lose. God, I should have just sundered. Why didn't I sunder? <laughs> it wasn't like I was going to have like a kill opportunity there, but I definitely should have sundered. I definitely should have sundered just to stop this back. Because anytime I can fight him with like relatively even items, I should. Because he's going to get a tier two there, I would assume. I hope not a full item. Yeah, he's going for Typhons. Oh, God. Full Typhons. Not fun. Where's he going? Give me red. I would love this. Give it to me. I mean, hey, I was gonna say, if he's on fire, I'm down. Oh wow, this is so good for me. Can't get him, I don't think. Maybe. Okay, let me wait that out. Unfortunate. We got a shell, but we couldn't actually kill him. I wanted it, but I knew that he had his fear, and I knew I didn't have beads. So it's like, as much as I want to go for a glory play there, it was not in my favor. <laughs> Definitely was not in my favor. And as this game continues and he gets more damage, I don't think it's going to get in my favor, so... Kill there would have been massive. But we've proven that we can win fights if he misses every single ability. <laughs> that is all it takes. This man has to miss every ability and we can win the fight. And that's not an exaggeration. He missed his one, three, and two. Well, he didn't miss his he didn't miss every ability. Not good. <laughs> the fight's not good for us anymore. He did not miss all of them. I will be down to dash on him though if he's around. I don't think he is. And he backed off. I wanted to get... Well, we got some anti-heal on him, so I'm down with that. Just gonna run. Gosh! I'm so bad. I can honestly never chase him down because it's like I can't ult on him because he's got ult. It's so difficult to actually force him to fight me when he doesn't want to. But we can do this. We just gotta believe. Okay, he's teleporting. I can see the video now. I beat a GM dueler with teleport. <laughs> All right. Let's get Titans, man. I do think it's the best option. Hades gets a lot of extra protections, you know? So this is this is what I truly believe to be my best option. It, there's a chance that Kins would be more valuable, but he doesn't have that much HP. He's really just building, uh, like, healing. I want to see him go for it, and I, like, stun him, you know? Okay. Fringe. I actually can't clear. Ah, this is so absurdly annoying, man. You are cringe. <laughs> I have to tell him. I have to tell him, man. He is so lame. Going fucking d triple lifesteal claw Hades. As long as he knows, then I'll, I'll be able to sleep fine tonight. Where's he at? Did he go to fire? He did not go to fire. Well, guess we're gone. <laughs> That's pretty much how a fight would go if I ever like actually committed when he had item abilities up, by the way. <laughs> Did you see how much fucking damage I just took? All right, well, if he's on fire, he's nuts. He's actually nuts. Seriously, tell me you got it. Oh man, I'm a space demon. I don't get it. I'm not rat. I'm a space demon. I 
can't even like out damage him here. I want to. I want to dash in and go crazy, but it's difficult. I think he's on my blue. He's on my blue. Oh, he wasn't on my blue. Dang it. <laughs> all right, I guess we wait for boat. We I guess we just wait for relics, man, and all in him. That's what it seems like the play is here. We upgrade our relics, we all in, and we go for it. And you play Hades? And you play triple life steal Hades? Worst birthday ever. <laughs> That's the worst birthday ever. <laughs> My gift to, to, to you will be not reporting you. <laughs> Crazy. I haven't. He hasn't. He hasn't divined me yet, so I think I'm fine. I'm kind of down to go in if he dashes on me. I doubt he would. One more full combo definitely kills me, and he knows it. Yeah, he knows if he just full combos me, I die. I don't want him to get red though. Damn it! He saw me. I was hoping he didn't. I'm just cycling some heals. Okay, I don't think this kills me though. I think I actually had to make that play, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't have to make that all in play there, but I thought I did, man. I thought it was my only chance. I could have left. He probably just ends off that, to be honest. <laughs> he probably just ends off that one fucking kill. But if he doesn't, if he doesn't, we get this, and that's something. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. Okay, cool. We get a chance to fight again. We don't have beads. We've got ult to get out of his ult. That's that's what we got going for us. That is it. I'm pretty sure if I ulted onto him, I would I would just die. Like actually, so that kind of sucks. And it's not easy for me to clear waves either. Oh yeah, this is sick. I love this. I love this. I don't think he ends because he's having old, so I don't really care. All right, we got our power potion. We have our sunder. We want to go in. We got to juke some poly shots. Let's hope he runs out of mana. Well, my plan was to not get hit by all that. Unfortunate. I don't think he can kill me though. Yeah, he can. Okay, that's good. That is good. Can we fight him? Can we fight him? Where's he at? Did he run? He's probably at red buff. I bet he got it and then he left and now he's gonna come back with like a 3k. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. So, uh, you guys have been watching. Uh, when's my, when's my go time, you know? When do I go crazy and kill him and win the game? Is it soon? Did I miss the chance? He dish dashed in. Maybe that's it. Maybe that was the chance I needed all along. I'm gonna dash his dash. Okay, that's the plan. It still fucking hit me for some reason. I hate my life. He ju I missed, he missed Polly. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. It's already back up, let's be honest. Okay. That's something. No. <laughs> There's no minions here. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, that was winnable. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was really sick, man. I definitely had a chance to win that one. Unfortunate. Let's uh, let's jump into another one. <laughs> All right, we we've cl we took off our hat. We've cleansed ourselves of that cringe. I messaged Jesse after and said that he wasn't that cringe and a happy birthday, but he's still he's still cringe. Remember that. Don't don't forget that. But this is gonna be the last one. We we gotta end with a bang. Let's see what the matchup is. I left a sign open on purpose, and it's gonna be a set game. Oh, okay. 
So I won't lie to you guys. I wanted to go crit for the last one because I feel like the first time we went crit was a little bit of a uh, of a stomp. In this set, it doesn't seem like the smartest idea, but I'm, I'm committed. It's the last game of Wrath the Movie. I am absolutely committed. Um, let's just do it up. Let's do it up. And you know what? Let's go attack speed rat with crit because we're here. Let's be honest. We've made it this far. Let's do it. We're going to get Onk and, uh, and Shell, I think. But Sprint, like Sprook come in handy. This is my Masters rank up game. Why are you? Welp. You're going to feel the wrath of attack speed rat on your promo game. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Hello. Nah, you win these. Nah, you win these. All right, so... Good luck to this guy on his master's promo. But we're going attack speed crit rat. Reason being, obviously, I think the, the first attack speed game we played, or uh, crit game, was not full attack speed, number one. And number two, um, Toxic played pretty good against that. That was like my thought process, you know? Uh, bad way to double buff. I was not paying attention and I was messaging this guy having fun, but this is definitely one of the more fun movies I've ever done. Like, despite the fact that that last game was a bit uneventful. Like, besides that, I, I really did enjoy playing all the different acorns. It's such a different playstyle every time. I think you guys should try some of these uh, in your own games when you do get a chance. But we missed a good bit of, uh, of minions there because it took so long for us to clear. Because we did buffs in the bad order. But it's alright. This dude does seem to be... Uh, putting respect on my damage which is good but he he goes crazy here like he definitely out damages me in the early get five though like he could kill me if he ever catches me without a dash i just want to confirm these though i'm not really looking for any uh any fights we'll get our ult and we'll back up out of there yeah so itch ball crit breastplate then like anti-heal shuriken Wind Demon Toxic Blade or something? Like, I don't know. I don't know how to win this game. I just know that we want to run from his ult and then engage. Like, that's that's how we play this for sure. Um, and it is not going to be easy at all. Like, it's just not something that Rat tends to enjoy uh, at any point. I'm already... Like, that's clear clearing waves, man. Set just does so much more damage and definitely wins in the all-out auto-attack battle. And hey, if we're splitting hairs in most 1v1 fights, it's going to be uh, him taking the cake there too. But it'll take some time before he's able to really get aggressive. And I can full clear with my dash eventually as well. So that's good. Let's back up. Let's get that itch of all. And then we'll start grabbing speed buff from here on out. Because we should be able to clear the way with dash, stun him, and then go up into the air to run away. Like, like if he ults us, of course. That is probably our play style for a bit. We're only like 100 gold down. Could be worse. If he goes for blue, I might ult him here. Just because I have ult you all and he has tier 2 transcendence. Um, I'm down, yeah. Let's do it. You ain't back in. <laughs> you ain't back in. You don't want to fight me, do you? His blue's not up yet because he did speed first. Let's see if we can get his ult. I missed. I missed that, but we are winning this hard. Let's go! I was like, should I dash out? Should I dash in? It was close, but I decided to dash in. I'm definitely glad I did it. I was like, is he healing up here? And luckily, he did not heal enough. So, his blue is up. He will just ignore it. Lord have mercy. <laughs> we got attack speed, baby. All right. Let's get our speed buff now. Uh, if this dude survives long enough, I honestly might just F6 because it's his master's promo. If we beat him, of course. If he beats us, like, sure, he'll just shit on us. But I want to I wanna reward this guy. Sam has told me that, like, his viewers don't respond well when he gives people, like, the win. But I don't know. It's his master's promo, man. I don't need the MMR. I'm GM already. Like, I don't need it. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, clear that. Come on. Ah, got a little bit of damage. 
about a little bit of damage. I don't want to spam my abilities too much. Yeah. Alright, we got a max dash. Where'd you go? Are you at speed? I mean, red buff. Smart just to dash away whenever possible. Itemization wise, like I just attack very quickly. <laughs> if I can force out his teleport, he just dies. No, I thought I had my shell, dang it. I thought I had my shell for some reason. I was like shell ult and then I can run away and stall in the air and heal with my chalice, but did not work. We got a kill, but that was much more worth for him. Damn it, man. That was so bad. I don't know why I thought I had my shell. I obviously don't have it for 40 seconds. It wasn't even close. I just knew that if I stunned, dashed, autoed, I could kill him. And then I was hoping I could ult out. I think I was expecting him not to get another skewer off. That was probably it. I was about to dash on him there. If I got a crit, there's a good to fair chance I kill. But it's also not the smartest idea I've ever had. He's up by so much off that, man. That was really bad by me. I'm talking about giving him pity F6s and like, he's killing. I'm gonna beat your ass, bro. You gotta care about that? He got a full breastplate off that kill. Wow. So that's why he just is stomping me at the moment. It's all right, though. We know what we're playing for. We play for our crit. Even, oh, it does pay. I am down to take this. Don't have your sandstorm, bro. You can't fight that. Let's go. We got the reverse revenge. His blue buff actually might be coming out or about to spawn in. I'm pretty sure it was on like the same timer as mine. So I will, in fact, go take that if possible before clearing the wave. He just spawned in. He's probably running it down. But his ult's not up. And he probably teleported out of base already. So we will take that. We're not even, we're still behind by the way gold wise, like that kill did some things for us, but not a lot. So I'm debating on Sprout or Onk. Uh, Sprout, make sure that he has to get beads or we just never die to his ult. Onk means we can fight into his ult. Um, my take on the situation, I should probably never be fighting into his ult. So what's the point of getting Onk? We'll have to see though, if that is something that I still believe when I actually go buy the relics. Let's work on that breastplate though. About a couple hundred gold off it. And you know what? I'm committing. I commit to the sprint there. I think Sprout is just better. I think the only time I start losing fights is when I go, I can fight into King Slayer, one of the best like 1v1 abilities in the game. Let's ult in just because. I was trying to predict something there. Oh, he ulted. Okay. So we just leave then. I mean, the second that ult ends. I'm down. Your sandstorm is down. Oh shit. That that was a lot of damage, turns out. What do you TP? Looks like no. Looks like he would not TP. Alright. Um, he didn't have a sandstorm, but he had enough. He definitely had enough. That wasn't my best fight. <laughs> uh, I'm not committing to full crit yet. I told him attack speed, which I clearly am going attack speed, but I don't want him to. Go into anti crit, you know. Like I actually, I might just might just want to go the anti heal shuriken now. Oh hi. Okay. Free buff or I kill you. Come down. Nah, I'm not gonna hit it. Not gonna. Oh hi. Want to see if I can get him TP out? I can. If you get in range of my dash. I'm pretty sure you die. On one crit! Oh my gosh, can I just get one? I know that my crit chance isn't that great, but give me something there. I'll just back it up. Alright. Looks like he's going like stone cutting or something, so I will throw one crit item in the mix. Let's just 
let's just throw this out there. This could be Wind Demon, and then we go Toxic Blade, or... Ooh, you got Thorns. Interesting. It looks like he knows we're going crit. <laughs> it looks like he has figured out. He's done the math. Smart gamer. <laughs> Smart gamer. He's like, hey, even if you don't build crit, and you have crit chance, and I don't want to deal with that. Damn it. Guys, ult for free. That's good. Now we just get on out of there. I will certainly take that. We know that he's got Thorn, so I'm not just gonna ult in willy nilly. How am I still behind in gold, man? That was like one shutdown kill. I want to ult in if pot. Oh hi, your ult's down. I know that I could do fire extremely fast, and I'm pretty sure this is down. If it's not, I'll just go to fire. Okay, cool. Let's just go to fire. Actually, I don't have enough crit chance. If I had wind demon, I'd do it. If I had wind demon, I would do it, but... Four autos, one crit. Eight autos, three crits. Wouldn't have been ideal. Would have started uh, to not go in my favor, I feel. We have to be on point, though, with our stuns. If this dude doesn't have beads, which is really good for me, of course, but it also means that if we ever want him to... If we ever want him to get... Hi. I was going to say that's got to be a thorn spot. Easy juke. His thorns is down. Guess I'm going for red buff. Easy enough. On him, end it. Perfect. Holy shit. What kind of swing, bro? You kind of swing on me. What the heck was that? What's going on? I gotta be honest with you. I have no idea where that damage came from. <laughs> I guess I should have just left, which I could have. I didn't think you could do that kind of damage to me. He must have got a massive power spike just with tier two hydras. I don't know. Did not think in any world that I was in danger there. Like, after I double relic, I definitely thought I was fine. Man. Well, we're going to be down a fair bit of gold now. Wow. I mean, I wasn't trying to fight into his ult. I was trying to leave. I did not think he could catch me or kill me. I guess just no one's playing set at the moment, so I overestimated my damage or underestimated his. Um, we've got crazy crit chance, and his ult is down. So I'm going to just run for him. Try and find him if I can. But unfortunately, he went the safe way. That's a decent crit chance. That missed. I don't think he's going to fight us until his ult comes up. But once it does come up, we don't want to fight him. Are you joking me? Bro, what is this luck? This is absurd. I can't get a single crit, can I? This is dumb, by the way. Yeah, he just kills me with his ult here. He's gotta take a bit, but he will. Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, this is so unfortunate, man. I have not gotten this unlucky. I've, this is something. This is something. That should have definitely been a kill. Ult, stun, dash, auto, and he still does nothing. I mean, he shelled, which was smart, but that's not enough to, to let you live there. Uh, stealing that speed was dumb, of course. I, I know that, but I was just tilted about him getting out. I was really tilted at him getting out, and uh, I didn't think that he deserved to live, so I just started hitting his speed angrily, and that was dumb. That was silly of me. That definitely threw... Uh, what little seminence we had left of this game. That word I just used is not the word I was looking for. Remnants? Whatever whatever bit of lead I was hoping to accomplish is it's gone. But you know me, I'm not afraid to fight when his ult's down. And that man ult is down. I'm going in. But I always say. A 
Oh, we could get our crit. I want to see if I can get his ult. If I do get his ult, of course I'll just ult out. But, he's got it now. He's got low enough HP that if he went on me, I could probably just turn. You know what I'm thinking? Oh, we grab that. He wouldn't stay, right? I mean, if he stays... I, I just ult onto my Phoenix, like whenever I really want to get aggressive here. Alright, we'll grab this. Now let's get in to start defend that thing. Is he sticking around? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Deathbringer. Like we're just going full crit at this point, man. We we're ending the We are ending the journey with full crit rat. If he starts losing fights and realizes that he needs to sell, then he does it. So uh our play is simple. We wait around a corner. Chunk him with our stun and our dash. Unlucky. Unfortunate there. Um, and then hopefully... Yeah, we just made his ult down. That was the plan. Okay. So his ult's down now. And we don't need our ult to kill him. Like, that's the good part, right? We don't need our ult to get a kill onto a set, but set needs his ult to get a kill onto us. Now... We try and run him down. Sprout would help us out. I can't even explain how much Sprout would help us out, but it doesn't seem very possible that I'm going to be able to finish a Sprout anytime soon. You here, guy? Nope. My two is pretty useless, so I'm okay with using that on a wave. Where you at? Here, blue. See how much damage I can just do if I can just get to him, man? This I don't think is dumb. This I think is really smart. This I think was smart because his ult's down. His ult's down. We have plenty of time to just book it down the lane. We have sprint if he hits another slow and get our speed in the process. Seems like he is still running it down for us, but... Oh my god, I actually got his ult. That is so big. I cannot believe he ulted that. That's so good for us. Get this. I would have ulted to him if I saw him on the Phoenix, but I don't think he's going towards it. Did he go for our speed, though? Don't hear it. Maybe he went for fire, but I don't think I care about that either. I don't think I care about fire, because we just fight him. Just fight him, forehead. Alright, his ult's down. Let's find him. Let's go find him. We got Deathbringer online. <laughs> Let's do this. There might be some big critters in the woods. He's got pretty much full cooldown at this point. Yeah, actually he does because he finished Wishblade. So it's going to be up quick. We need to look to engage like right now. The second we see him. His slow is down. Let's go. Let's go, man. He didn't expect the damage. Red buffs up. We have to wait for minions anyway, so I got time to just get everything. Oh, I may have goofed. Yeah, I think I missed. Nope, I didn't. I was going to say I may have slowed my minions down a bit, but I didn't. I did not slow them. We got it. We're definitely going to get green Deathbringer because that goes crazy here. I'm worried he's going to get anti-crit now, but like... That's the only thing that could really stop us at this point. We know we don't fight into his ult, we run away. As long as he doesn't pick us, like, we're fine. He did not get it. He got upgrade shell and stuff, but no anti-crit. Oh, two! Thank God. Okay. Let's upgrade to this. Let's get entangling wings. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, same plan. Dash on him, get his ult, fuck off. Look to fight after. I think he's here. I will say a really smart play of his would be to, uh... If I could get close enough to sprout him, I definitely will. There it 
it is. Got the ult. What we wanted. Get a little bit of farm in the process. Let's get the hell out of here so he doesn't catch us. Okay. He's still chasing us. He's goaded, but he didn't. Thank God. Get this. Get this. And now it's simple. It's simple. We know the plan. We run it down and try to kill him. <laughs> we just run it down and try and kill him. Honestly, man, red buff might just do better. Like bigger crits, but should be fine. I also up in 30, though. Hmm. I'm worried that if he kills me at this point, like if I try to end or like overcommit to his ult, it's just gonna be, you know, Endsville. He's staying so far back. Yeah, my ult's already back up, so his ult's definitely already back up. I'll try and pull this. Plan. <laughs> this time. We, can we kill him here? Let's see. We don't have a lot of HP. We've got regen. He's at blue. Where'd he go? Get back. Damn it. I got baited, I guess. See a fire. He was a fucking fire. Did not expect that. Can't lie. Did not lie. Run them through. I'm seeing if I could get that Phoenix. That's why I did all that, but it didn't work. As you might have expected. Huh, maybe we will end up getting it. He keeps chasing us. Let's see, what he? Yeah. Come on. Nah. <laughs> I was really hoping those minions would be able to get it, but they didn't. Darn it. Well, we're not gonna be able to bait out his ults anymore, so that sucks. I'm gonna get this just because I'm tired of uh Having to pop potions. Each of all probably should be getting sold at this point. <laughs> For executioner. Yeah, that works. X is just better there. Uh, we don't have our ult to run away from him, so like we just have to walk up and not dash. Man, he does so much more damage to me now. I think it might be over, honestly. I think we may have got to the point where we can't fight him anymore. Which is super unfortunate because we played this so well. But I don't have relics. It's like DPS wise, I just don't think I ever can compete with him at this point until I get a 3k pot. And it looks like he already has his regular potion, but... I wanted to see just how much I could do there. I have my ult up, but I'm definitely in burst range. Like if he teleported in and tried to kill me, he could. I mean, if he went for my Phoenix, I could just ult him. I need a 3k, I think. 3k is the deal. If we can get it. We can just ult onto him. All right, I wanted to keep him around. We did. We see him back, we just immediately ult. He's going for his Phoenix and he already dashed. Huh. There's no way I can do that. Where are you at? Okay. 
So far, the plan's been going exactly as you would expect, but I get a 3k now. Come on. Let's find him. He's not going to fire that I know of. Is he clearing? Is he on fire? He might have went to fire. He had the HP for it. Yep, he's on fire. This is perfect. Holy shit. That's what we needed. Oh my god. I didn't hit, but I can still kill him. I can still kill him. Are you joking me, bro? <sighs> As if, bro. As if you deserve this. I meant when I <laughs> when I said as if he deserved this, I meant fire because I dashed through it and he got out. But that's wild, bro. Oh my god, I cannot believe what the heck! I cannot believe that we ended up just winning this late game sad game, bro. That is absolutely wild. I will have six for him. I will have six for man. Oh my God. I can't believe it. We ended on the dub. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. This has been an absolute pleasure. Ah, good stuff.